Hey everyone, happy new year and welcome to the Just A Lab. It's 2022 and we all made it. And with a new year comes new technologies and devices. So today I'm looking at the Smart Digital Multimeter by Kaiweets, the KM601. In this video, I'll be putting it to the test to find out how good it is and also what makes it so smart. Let's get started. So before we take a closer look at this multimeter, um, let's talk a little bit about the company behind it, Kaiweets. Um, they've been around since 2018 and they have a goal to make high grade affordable equipment for both professionals and hobbyists alike. If you look at their website, you can see they make a number of equipment from laser levels, multimeters, power supplies and simple electronic tools like this automatic wire stripper which i picked up from their website a really nice addition to the lab compared to my old timey this is my old timey one which i still love by the way but this is definitely an upgrade in the lab i'll put links to everything in the description below so with that being said let's dive in and see what this multimeter has to offer so in the box you get a protective case which is not super hard but Definitely would protect the multimeter. You got a manual. You got our our leads, test leads. Really, really nice leads. They got this little protective cap here so that it can go into alligator clips, right? And then you got the thermal couple to measure temperature and you got a couple of batteries. So yeah, looking at the multimeter, it's about the size of my cell phone as you can see, right? It even has a flashlight in the back. Um, this compared to my Fleur um, DM, 284 but this is also a thermal camera so um it kind of justifies the size but still a very big upgrade already i noticed already that it doesn't have um a stand in the back here like this one does which is a kind of a bummer but i guess you know trade-offs it comes with this rubber case on the side here and then you have your range your hold um auto function select so let's put these batteries in so i'm gonna just take off this back cover out and do that screw. Oh, it doesn't. You can lose the screw if you're not careful. That's it. It comes off. It just requires three AAA batteries. And oh, so the leads go at the bottom. That's interesting compared to, you know, leads normally being in the front. Can I put on the light with it not being on? Nope. Alright, so I have to put it on to put on the light. Okay, nice bright light. Let's see. Pretty bright light. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about the light. Alright, so the smart feature of this, as you see, there's smart written on the screen. The screen is really nice and colored. The smart feature of this, it should be able to detect any voltage resistor or um, continuity automatically or it even has a temperature display so 25.2 degrees celsius is in my room right now so if i put this together it should detect a short circuit which is pretty cool let's test a battery here that i want to measure dc voltage yeah does it automatically and let's take a resistor here and see if it detects that I want to measure a resistor right now. I'm really impressed. Nice. So that's the smart aspect of this multimeter. I see it have the lights. So if I press the button, I can cycle through these functions. So yeah, when I switch it, it tells me which leads to use. 
which is really nice for a beginner who doesn't know how to use multimeters. So if it goes to current, it switches to current, which is pretty cool. Right, so if I hold it down, it goes back to smart. Put back the case on it. I'm not gonna lie though, this feels really nice. It feels like a cell phone. Fits really easy in a pocket compared to um, my other multimeter, which cannot fit in a pocket. So it definitely has its value in the portable side of things. So right now, I want to put these two other head to head against each other. So this is my Fleur DM284. And this is the Kaiweets KM601. I have some capacitors here, I have some resistors here, I have a power supply here. So we're gonna do some tests. Bear in mind, this is under 50 US and this is about 400 US. It also has a thermal camera, but. So for this first test, I'm going to be testing AC voltage. So this is in the auto function. So it's in the smart function. This one, I had to actually put the dial on the voltage AC. Which, I mean, isn't that much much more effort, but... Right, so they're saying basically the same voltage at the same time. Um, I'm going to press this auto feature here, and we're going to go into this live connector here. So as you can see, it shows that there is a high voltage present. And this multimeter also does a similar... Right, so the FLIR... Also does it. It's a little less sensitive because this the sensor is right at the edge here. While this is protected under this case. This also has a flashlight in it also. So let's put this back at the smart function. So just by pulling on this button. And we're gonna look at some DC voltages now. So right now this is saying 12 volts, this is saying 12 volts also. Um, let's change that voltage there and see how well both reacts. How fast? So this is definitely a bit slower than the FLIR, but in terms of accuracy, it, it does a pretty good job. Let's go up to 23 volts, 24. So this takes about a 3 seconds. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, about a 3 seconds after to get updated. And the values are really, really similar here, as you can see. So let's test some resistance here. So this is still an auto, but I have to click this into resistance here. And this is 120 ohms. So we read 120 ohms here, but more or less in the same ballpark. Let's move on to a 1K. Let's go with a 1K ohm resistor. Right, so this says 0 0.987, 0 0.985. And last but not least, I have a 10K here. So let's let's put that in there. Let's see what we get. So we get 9.97, 9.94. Really close each measurement. So let's move on to test some diodes. So I'm going to put this in diode mode. Right, so it says 0.52 ohms, 0.587. So I have a 4.7 microfarad, so let's take a crack at that here. So this says 4.29 microfarads, right, 4.43. Let's try a uh, 1 mic nanofarad on the Kaiweets. Let's see what it says. Yep, so it's 0 0.1941 nanofarads which is really, really close. And I guess let's move on to temperature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these leads, some leads here. That's six right there. So we're getting 156, 157, and the Kaiweets is steady at the 160. So both of them are kind of in the same ballpark right there measuring degrees Celsius. Oh, and this one also has the Fahrenheit right above it on the Kaiweets multimeter, which is pretty cool. All right, so the last thing I would like to do is measure some current. This to milliamps, as you can see, it's lighting up here on the milliamps. And it's telling me my lead needs to be put in. So both has the same feature where you need to make sure and have the leads in for it to work. 
my kiwits, as you can see, as soon as I put any leads, it senses it. So let's try measuring some current now. So I need to put this all the way across here to the milliamps probe while I'm going to set on the KM601. I'm going to put it on milliamps. And I'm going to measure the current flowing through this diode. So at about 1.8 volts it lights and it's drawing about 16 milliamps according to the supply. And I'm going to put this multimeter in series the km601 all right so i'm going to put out any correct lead there that is 13 milliamps we're getting 13.4 here 13.5 so here we're getting 40 milliamps well 39 milliamps here and now we're getting 39.1 39.2 here so Again, more or less in the same ballpark, pretty accurate in both cases. Now this is displaying 40, as you can see in the corner there, and this is saying 39.7. So, And when we're done, well, this is for the automatic power off, right, which is that light there. Um, that's to make sure it stays on all the time. This is the automatic power off. Hold on the button, cut comes off, fold up my leads. And we're good to go <laughs> this case is still smaller than my entire multimeter so my final thoughts on the Kiwitz KM601 um I think it's a really good multimeter I think it's very all-rounded it's affordable it's under 50 US for one um, and it matches up really well against this Fleur DM284 um, this isn't obviously a no fluke but Again, it's still a very professional multimeter with a very high accuracy and comparing that against this Kiwitz, um, seeing how well it holds against it, even in some areas better. The hard plastic, it does feel like a cell phone, which is really nice. So it's really portable. As you can see, it can just fit in my jacket pocket right here. The buttons, um, I like the buttons. Uh, I still find this feels a little authentic. Um, but definitely when using this, I don't miss that, especially with that smart feature of it. The smart feature doesn't apply to all options, so it doesn't automatically go to like temperature or, or, or current, but it does have probe sensors that let you make sure that you're using the right probes at all times, which is a nice feature. That One thing that I don't like about this multimeter is, yes, it's designed to be a phone, but they could have easily cut out a piece in the back here, kind of like how the um, DM... 284 is where there's a cutout in the rubber that allows for the stand. Um, also, even self, like you see how I could put a, a magnetic attachment to this. Um, it would be really nice if this had like a hook or something on top of here where I can hook one of these um, third party accessories here to do a, you know, a magnetic strap, right? Which comes in really handy when you're doing um, any kind of industrial testing. Um, so those are some stuff I would like to add or see in a future version, um, Kiwitz. Um, but definitely, you all are on the right track for a very young company. That being said, I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. I hope it was really helpful. Um, thank you, Kiwitz, for sending me this multimeter to review and test out. I would be using it as my new daily multimeter. I could probably guarantee that just because it's so portable. Definitely something for hobbyists. Um, I will put links to everything in the description below. And with that being said, yeah, I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, suggestions, do let me know in the comments below. Um, I will have links to all of these products also in my description. While you're down there, hit that like button. Do consider subscribing. And I would see you in the next video. Take care.